I'm sorry. <laughs> I got too cold. Let's try it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We may never get to our Disney dining <laughs> review. Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back for another Disney dining review. Today we're headed to Rick's over at Coronado Springs. And I have to say, um, this menu looks very intriguing to me. It's kind of like typical pub bar food, I feel like, um, very American staples, but with some interesting twists. Uh, yeah, I've been wanting to eat here for a while, actually. I've had this scheduled for several <laughs> times, and then we've just found like, um, some different harder to get reservations that have taken priority, but this we've never eaten here before. It's a sports bar. Apparently there's a bunch of TVs where you can watch sports and I'm really looking forward to it. It is a Saturday at lunch. We haven't had breakfast yet. I'm hungry. Me too. I'm excited to go see what it's like with the ambiance and theming. That being said, we'll see like what we can rate here. I mean, it's a sports bar, so I'm not expecting like. Well, I peeked at the menu and they have a sweet tea old fashioned. Now you're speaking my language. And they have a cucumber jalapeno margarita, which is like Ooh. my two favorite margaritas combined into one. Well, now I want both of those. <laughs> I'm getting the margarita. You can get it too, but I'm getting it. Um, but they have a lot of interesting like uh, signature sandwiches and just, I don't know, I'm excited. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty, oh, they do have breakfast here. So if you're staying at Coronado Springs, they have yes. breakfast with some pretty good looking options, including yeah. a breakfast burrito, which I am all in on. Mm. So um, this is not just a like evening sports, like pub type of thing. Like go get breakfast there, apparently. I mean, it's good maybe, but. Um, we really yeah. like breakfast. I think after we do all of the restaurants, we should do a breakfast slash brunch series. In oh, the we're definitely doing a brunch series. Um, I don't know if we include breakfast in there or just brunch, but yeah, we'll definitely, we're definitely We'll brunch. figure it out. I want to uh, ask about the, is it the Wachos? Yes. So there is an appetizer on here that is Wachos. It is crispy waffle fries loaded with house blend queso blanco, bacon, and scallions. That sounds fantastic. And then the fried green beans also sounds really good. There's a craft beer cheese dip that has roasted mm. shishito peppers in it. Mm. I know. They're served with pretzel bites. Are we just getting appetizers? Uh, well, no, because, I mean, the, the food looks good, too. I mean, there's, there's a wedge salad. There's a burger burger, there's a sausage and peppers sandwich, a croissant turkey club, a, a mac and cheese burger. Mac and cheese. We may be bringing home leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> and right. they have onion rings and they have a bourbon pecan pie. Oh. Well, I should have worn my Thanksgiving pants. That's all I got to say. <laughs> there's only one way to find out if this place is good and that's to, to we're go. almost late, so we're always ready? almost late. That's true. <laughs> well, let's go. Difficult. I never really know what is going on. Let me know what well, I already don't. I'd be grateful. Yeah, we'll talk when you're ready. I have heard one too many of your sad little stories. jalapeno margarita. It's actually not very spicy at all. Like it's definitely cucumbery, but I don't get a ton of kick in it, which is interesting. Um, Dan got the all spice old fashioned. The sweet tea old fashioned wasn't on the menu. And then we got watchos to start. Um, I think we're gonna get the mac and cheese burger for our entree. The all spice old fashioned is fine. Uh, it's not horrible, it's not wonderful, um, but it's not bad. I don't know that I'd get it coming to a sports bar, but if it's on the menu, I have to get it because it's an old fashioned and I'm on a quest to find the best old fashions in Disney World. So this is somewhere in the middle for me. I'm pretty excited about this. All right. Oh, I got way too big of a bite to just put in my mouth right away. So very, very good. 
We just got the regular loaded. We didn't put any meat on it, so it's like extra meat, but it's got bacon and uh, green onions and like a queso blanco and like some shredded cheese. Very flavorful, I like it a lot. We split the mac and cheese burger, which actually comes out with a regular burger, and then the mac and cheese is like a fried patty of mac and cheese, it looks good. But we got the onion rings, and I'm a sucker for onion rings, so we're gonna try those first. It's pretty good. It's bar food, it's a bar, it's a sports bar. I think it's done really well for bar food. It's not going to be like the best meal on property, but at the same time, it's also pretty reasonably priced and a really cool environment, so I'm good. There is not enough room for the bourbon pecan pie. As much as I would love for there to be, I can't do it. So we will wrap this up at home. We're back. So we have all the info for you. But first, if you're looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at fantasticalvacations.com. We plan Disney destinations, Universal, cruise lines, and all-inclusive resorts. Okay, so Rick's Sports Bar, fantastic little place. Not something I would go out of my way to do, but if you're staying in Coronado Springs, I would Solid choice. definitely go here at least once. Yeah. It's pretty good. So let's just begin. Ambiance and theming, I mean, it's a sports bar. So it, it played very well to its goal. It had several TVs scattered lots, around. Lots of TVs. Um, yeah. That, like 20. That had all different games playing on it. Um, when you first walk in, it's kind of in that two-story open area of Coronado Springs. And so it's really actually quite beautiful. Um, so if you're kind of sat up in that front section, there's like some um, natural sunlight coming in and it, that was really pretty, a big, big, yeah. nice bar. So we gave ambiance and theming mean, a three and a half because it really, it accomplished its goal, right? I mean, it wasn't like characters or super fancy or, you know, over the top themed, but it's a sports bar. Yeah, I mean, you can't compare it to the over the top Disney theme of, of the other restaurants, but it's themed like a sports bar. I would say it's a little bit above average as far as sports bars go, so three and a half suits it. Let's talk about service. Service is actually pretty good. Yeah. Our waitress had a uh, language barrier, but she did a very good job. She, she communicated um, efficiently enough. Like she had to uh, question a few things a couple of times, but she was very on it. She was quick to get waters and check on us a bunch of times. Um, she was good. I, I had no problems with service. I really liked that we asked, we told them that we were splitting the order and they actually split our <laughs> burger and our onion rings into two separate baskets. So we didn't have to do it. Whereas sometimes whenever you go to these places, they'll just bring you one plate and then they'll bring you an extra plate. And so it was nice that we didn't have to do it ourselves. It was good. We gave service a four. Yeah. Drinks were nothing special. We ended up getting cocktails because they had specialty cocktails and that's what we do when places have specialty cocktails. And they actually sounded good. They were, they sounded good. They were different than the normal Disney cocktails. So I'll give them that. They were not over the top special though. Like they were just mm -hmm. normal cocktails that they had labeled as specialty cocktails. In fact, they were probably a step down from normal cocktails. Um, yeah. Is what it is. Like they weren't, Awful, but they weren't great. So I would say straight up average. We I would just get the beer yeah, if you go. We gave them a three. <laughs> and then food. The food was well done. Uh, those watchos? Yeah. Is that what they were called? Uh, they were very simple and very good. <laughs> they're, nach I, they're nachos made with waffle fries yeah. is what they are. Yeah. Um, I thought that the mac and cheese burger was going to be very messy because all I could think was like, you know, taking a ladle of mac and cheese and yeah. slapping on top of a burger patty, but they like fried the mac and cheese. So it was like a little patty of fried mac and cheese. So it all kind of stuck together really well. And it was pretty decent. It was cooked well, but not seasoned at all. So it was pretty bland. Yeah. So the first bite that we took, it yeah. was just of the burger and the bun and everything that came with it. And then I didn't really get a lot of flavor. So we ended up having to put mustard and ketchup on there just to give us some flavor as we were eating it. So I think that probably took it down a step. But as far as like the flavor of the appetizer went great, the onion rings were pretty dang good. It might um, be one of those places that you just get apps and sides. Maybe. Like yeah. get some beer, get some apps and some sides. They had wings. They had lots of different sides. Yeah. Um, they had nachos there, which 
I don't even remember being on their online menu. They had other stuff that wasn't just on the online menu. So slightly above average, but not anything to write home about. So we gave it a three and a half. All that to say that adds up to um, divide out to be a 3.5 score, um, which I think is pretty good. Like it was a sports bar that was, I feel like a little above average, nothing I would go out of my way for, like I, like Dan said. Um, I think if I was going out of my way to go to Coronado, I would much rather go to Dahlia Lounge or Toledo yeah. or to Three Bridges. Um, but if I was staying on property and I needed a quick bite or I was hungry, this is a solid place to go. If I was going out of my way to go to a sports bar, I would probably go to like City, City Works. Works. So there's yeah. that. Yeah, I think three and a half is respectable for what it is. It is just, yeah. you know, Coronado Springs is a conference center hotel. So they need extra food options around there. And this is located kind of between where the conference area is and where the rest of the hotel begins. And so it is what it is. It is filling a, a void there. And I think it does the job appropriately, yeah. appropriately for that. But for the does. average Disney fan family that is coming that is not going to a Coronado uh, conference, then I <laughs> it's pretty skippable, honestly. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.